Hi, I'm Rosa from blogofacraftygirl.com. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a hemp bracelet today. First, you're going to be needing hemp, of course. And what I did was I took the first one and I measured it around my wrist. I have small wrists, so... But anyways, measure the first one around your wrist. Cut it so that it's a little bit longer than your wrist. Actually, um, I would do it quite a bit longer just to be on the safe side. Okay, your other two pieces... You're going to want them to be twice as long as this piece, if not longer. Uh, the reason for that is because you're going to be weaving this one, and this one's going to stay in the same. Okay, so as you're weaving, these two are going to get shorter. Anyways, you're going to want to tie them off. Just make a knot. Some people choose not to do this, but I do because it's a lot quicker and a lot easier. So just make a knot. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just a basic knot. You've tied all three of them together. And I'm going to take this to the wall real quick. So that that was kind of loud. You can get a better view of it. Hopefully this will pull my paint off because if it does, that'll be really sad. Okay. The shortest piece always goes in the center. Now you're going to want to take the one on your right and make it into like a letter P. Take the one on your left, go over top of the, the one on your right, which will be this extra string sticking out. Go under your middle one. Let me see if I can scoot that camera in a little bit better. So, so far, let's see. we've got the P, now we're going to take the one on the left, go over the yellow piece, under the orange right here, and then back through over top in that circle. Now you've got what looks like, kind of like a pretzel. Then you're going to pull these. You want them to be kind of tight. Ugh, I'm going to cut this. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm not going to be wearing this one. So. Uh oh. Okay, I'm having issues with my camera. Okay. Now you're going to take the one on the left, which is the, my yellow one. And you're going to make a P out of it. Now you're going to take the, the right one, which is the white color, go over top of the yellow, like this. Then you want to go want to go back up under the orange and through the hole. And there's your pretzel. Pull them tight. Okay, I'm going to show you a few more times, just to make sure that you got it. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I really need to get another one. Okay. My yellow one makes a P. My white one goes over top of the yellow. So uh, basically you have a straight line with both um, the two on the left. The one on the right is still a P. Take the white one. Go up like this. Underneath this orange. And then through that hole of the yellow and over top of it. And then you pull them tight. Okay. Take the yellow, make a P. Remember the other one's just kind of dangling down just like the orange. Okay, take the white and it goes on top of the yellow, this string, it goes on top of this one, under the orange, and through the hoe, the yellow hoe I should say, and then you've got your pretzel, pull it tight.
Okay, one more time. Make your P. Take your white. Go through the hoe. And the same with the one on the right, or the left, I mean. Make your P. This one lays over top of the yellow one. Then you want to take the white one, under the orange, and through the hole. And then it will be on top of the yellow, and the yellow will be under the white. And then you've got your pretzel. Pull it tight. Okay, also, watch, this is something that nobody told me when I first started. Um, if you get lost, um, or if you set it down and you don't remember which one that you need to start on to begin with, I don't know if you can see this or not. Mm, I don't think you're going to be able to. Anyways, the color that you need to start with, again, is always going to be on the very bottom. Well, no, it's not on the bottom on this one. I forgot that's when I'm doing the other one. Um, some people either tape it or put a bead on it or something so that they can always tell which one uh, that they left off with. This one's pretty easy because it's two colors. It's white and yellow. So basically, if you always start and end with the yellow, then you know, you know, pick up, start off where you left off. Um... But there you have it, your flat hemp bracelet. And when you get to the very end of it, you can tie it off the same as you did the top. Or um, I'm planning on making another video to show you how to do the slip knots to where uh, you can uh, do it and undo it so that you can wear it multiple times. So don't worry about it breaking off or falling off or anything. But it's uh, it's pretty easy to make. Um, it, it can be time consuming. Usually, uh, with my beads and everything that I put on mine, it usually takes me about 10 minutes to whip one of these up. And like I said, um, I sell this hemp. Um, it's one millimeter, 20 pound test at Maria's Valentine Rose.com. It's an Etsy store. Or you can go to blog of a crafty um, and it'll show you different tips and tricks on how to make different things like hemp bracelets and. Uh, accessories and some knitting stuff it's a pretty cool little website i got going um anyways uh thank you for joining me and have a good day